I'm sure some of you have looked at a meme or a picture and been a little bit weirded out by it, been a little bit scared. So I thought, hey, I'll start off the new year by talking about some memes that make you question reality. This is from a Twitter page, at WeirdRealityMP4, it'll be linked in the pinned comment, and it will also be in the description, just like my own Twitter, that you should follow. Besides that, let's get into this video. Oh, that's a body without organs. There's a human carcass, stripped of its bodily organs in a dumpster behind Best Pizza Manhattan, NYC, New York, at 40.713050, negative 74.007230. Well, I mean, if you want to go find it, good luck, I don't know. This is crazy. Me when all of my guests are enjoying the party completely unaware that I put rice in all of their drinks. Jesus Christ, who edited this? Say the line, Bart! Be not afraid. Angel Bart, new arc. They should do that in the actual Simpsons. Tomorrow is the fall of man. Finally, dude, I've been waiting on this day. When you slip into a coma and end up floating in an endless void as wandering eyes judge you for every mistake you've made in life, shaming you in whispers telepathically as they make you relive every traumatic event in your mind. Oh, please, make it stop. That was a horrible Mr. Krabs voice. I don't know, I mean... This doesn't sound like a coma anymore, it seems like you might have passed on to another life, but I don't know, this just sounds like something that would happen if you were in like Berserk or something. It sounds pretty, pretty, pretty typical for that universe. Yeah, I basically play video games all day. I should eat him. I think that's love though, I mean she's got hearts around her, I think she means that with the utmost care and love, I don't think it's that bad. Man, that was a pretty good burger. I sure do love living in Mandela County. I'll just catch the local news and then watch these cool tapes I rented. Whoa, I didn't even notice this in the picture originally, dude. There's an alternate right there in the background. But it doesn't look- Oh yeah, I forgot. They don't have to look like you. Shout out Alex Kister, by the way. Also, I have a ARG video coming soon, too. You know, a little analysis. You'll find out, you'll find out. Big year for us this year, I promise you. My dream house. Bedroom, kitchen, bath. The abyss. Oh, you got a giant guy just- so this either means one of two things. Your house is alive, there's a giant head in your wherever that is, or there are just two eyeballs just sitting in there. I don't know which would really be the best one, but you can pick. Know the work rules. Appropriate. Looking good, Susan. Aw, oh, you're sweet. Inappropriate. Tell me what you fear, Susan. Hello, human resources? Oh man, she's about to get got. You know they're bad when they have the exact same eye copied over. <laughs> this is just Among Us, Among Us alternate, dude. Who's the real imposter? Yo, Mr. White, someone's at the door. Who is it? No body or evidence of Walter Hartwell White Sr. was ever found. If you have information, please contact local authorities. Uh, Mr. Rockefeller, are you sure you want that tree? Doesn't it look off? Nonsense. It shall make quite the Christmas tree for the center, won't it? Oh, Mr. Rockefeller, if you only knew that leaving that tree there would cause a certain man to make a th over three hour analysis video about exactly what you've done wrong, then you wouldn't have done it. The blood pact is sealed. Throw the contract into the flames. Huh? Okay. I don't know why I'm doing that. I could just put the sound effects. They were forced to to join Twitter. Hmm, today I will have a 50-50 chance of dropping a rock on my infant child or not dropping it. Because you cannot see the previous panel, my child is simultaneously crushed and uncrushed. Ah, oh, they've hit me with a paradox, dude. I didn't think I would be getting hit with psychological warfare while I was reading my unusual memes, dude. I thought it was just gonna be a funny little low effort video. Look at where we are, look where we are. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Alternates. Greg's looking a little scared right there. I don't know what he's scared for. Greg, just, just tune him out, just close your ears. They can't say bad things to you if you can't hear them. Just run away. I would read this book, by the way. If this book actually came out, I would buy it immediately and read it the same day. This is, I would, <laughs> The Alternates would be a great storyline. When you wake to get a snack late at night, and as you rummage through the fridge, all the lights you switched on the way to the kitchen begin to turn off one by one. This is horrifying. Just as a thought, it would never happen to me though, but you know. 
What happened to you? So you need to start thinking about it very hard. Me trying to sleep for the first time in days when I hear the... I almost left. The voice of the hitchhiker I skinned and buried in my crawl space, beckoning me to join them amongst the worms and filth. I don't think that was a hitchhiker, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you kind of deserve it, though. If you think about it, you would you would have killed that guy. Nobody told you to do that. Thomas, I am a bit concerned about this recent apocalyptic fiasco. The corpses of doomed men fall. The gods' dwellings are reddened with crimson blood. Fate catches fire before the world plunges headlong. No man will spare another. All weather is vicious. All are terrified on the roads to hell. Splendid. Well, that's beautiful. That was just an intellectual conversation between two individuals. There's nothing wrong about what they said, I think. You know, a lot of you should be thinking the same way they are right now. Nobody came for me. This is just great. I like how uh, so many memes kind of come full circle. Like how the troll face turned into what it did, and now we got this meme turning into this. It's kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Sex is great, but have you ever gone camping in the winter with somebody special and laid out under the bright, unspoiled country stars in the middle of nowhere holding their hand? Just kind of dreaming out loud about your future together. And they ain't saying a word because words would ruin it. They just keep squeezing that hand real tight and looking at you with those big, sweet eyes and your phone goes off. How is there a signal out here? And you almost ignore it because this moment is perfect, but you check just in case. And it's a text from your lover saying they just woke up in the tent and you weren't there and it's scaring them. And the sick, sinking realization that whatever's holding your hand hasn't said a word for the past 30 minutes. But it keeps staring at you, blinking one eye at a time, breathing out of sync, almost like mimicking you by moving his chest up and down without actually breathing. And now that tight grip on your hand just ain't quite as comforting as it was eight seconds ago. I think this is something that everyone can relate to. I've definitely had this happen to me before. I'm sure a lot of you guys have had it happen to you. It's okay though, you know, just one of those embarrassing things from when you're younger. You know, something you gotta think about a lot. Probably will keep you up at night a little bit. When you wake up in a state of total sleep paralysis and you're forced to watch helplessly as the closet demon gets closer to your bed. I mean, what if he's a nice guy? You don't know. He might be a nice closet demon. He might be a sweet guy. He might want to tell you a bedtime story, help you get back to sleep. You never know. Luckily, I do not have sleep paralysis. I've only had it one time and that was like the kind where your eyes are still closed and you're just hearing like a, a sound. I just heard a bunch of rushing wind, and I felt like I was kind of falling a little bit. It was pretty bad, actually, but it wasn't as bad as seeing a demon literally crawling towards me. Me who hasn't slept or left my house in five days, watching the abomination who took all of my family, friends, and neighbors away, prowl the streets at night looking for other survivors. I mean, hey, you just gotta, you got DoorDash now, you got Uber Eats, you got, you can ship groceries to your house through Amazon, it's all good, man, you never have to come out of the house. You're two stops from home when the train suddenly goes quiet and they all slowly turn their heads towards you, necks violently cracking, teeth desperately chattering, saliva dripping from their hungry mouths. I mean, they just look happy to begin to their stop. I don't know. It doesn't seem like they really care about you. Nobody in this picture is looking. It lives in the sink. Oh God, it lives in the sink. It lives in the sink. It lives in the sink. Nothing lives in the sink, baby. Have a good night's sleep. Love you. Hey man, he just, I don't know how he actually fit a bed in the sink. That's kind of impressive. He's, you know, and maybe he's just living in the sink because, I don't know, he's trying to, he's trying to be supportive of her, you know, he wants to be around. <laughs> this is stupid. Hee hee hee, I'm so scared. <gasps> that guy cut off someone's face and it's using it as a mask. Call the cops. Hello, operator? <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> why is he crying? I mean, I know it's the Wojak, but why is, why would he be crying? <laughs> is he like... Maybe he's, um, he's remorseful. He's remorseful. Me and my brother watching the skinless corpse walk across our backyard and into the nearby woods at 8.37 p.m. on February 13th, 2022. So, uh, this is gonna happen to one of you. I don't care if only 10 people see this video. This is gonna happen to one of you. And it'll be happening in approximately a month and 12 days. So I'd recommend whatever you have going on, you get it together so you can make time to watch that happen. Me watching the doctors begin my open heart surgery, my body immobilized by anesthesia, but my mind and nervous system fully conscious and unable to scream as I feel the knives cut into my flesh. I am in mind shattering agony. I don't know, you look pretty you look pretty content right there, no kidding. It's crazy that that's an actual phenomenon that can happen to you and uh I guess let's all just hope we don't have to have surgery. I guess. I don't know what else to say there. There was knocking on my window last night, mom. 
This is a third story apartment. Billy, who was at your window last night? I don't know, man. I'd probably move away. <laughs> I'd probably leave the country. I don't know what else you could really do in a situation like that. It does pose the question, though. If you lived in a house and you knew it was haunted, would you move out or would you be too scared that, like, the ghost would follow you or, like, the creature would follow you if it wasn't haunted? Like, would you just try to move away from it or would you just assume it's going to keep following you across the world? With that question out of the way, that's it for today. You know, just another low up for video. I'm really appreciative of all the support I got last year. Granted, my upload schedule was horrible, and I still got the amount of support I did. This year, I'm going to do a lot better, a lot more uploading, a lot better content. We're going to improve, you know. We're going to go for some goals. I posted my goals on my Twitter. Go follow that. Anyway, besides all that, thank you for the support. Also, in the last video, I didn't expect it to get anywhere near the views it got. And more stuff coming soon. I'm trying to upload two to three times a week. Probably it'll be more like two, but the occasional three. With all that out of the way, have a good day and goodbye.